Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today is an exciting day. It is bread day. And to celebrate, I made this amazing looking sourdough loaf. I haven't actually tried it yet because I need to test some bread knives. And I happen to have three bread knives to test today. Two just are standalone bread knives. One came with this artisan bread slicing kit. So stick around and we'll have some bread. This is the bamboo wooden bread slicer from Lou. It has these cutting guides so that you can cut even slices every time. It comes with everything you see here, except the bread. And you get a knife, a bread bag, and the bread slicing apparatus itself. It has a crumb catching tray so you don't make a mess when you cut. And I'm excited to give this a try. They say it's specially designed for round loaves, which this is kind of an oblong loaf, so I think that will count. And we'll give this a shot and see what happens. This is the Hinyi professional grade bread slicing knife. It has an eight inch serrated blade and is presented in autumn yellow. This has got to be the most intimidating bread slicing knife I have ever seen. It's the Gresta 10 inch premium German steel bread slicing knife. They say it's dishwasher safe and is designed for minimum crumb dispersion. If I had a round loaf, this would not be a decision I had to make. But since this is an oblong loaf, I had to decide how to orient my bread. I'm going with this and uh, there really are no wrong answers, I suppose. This is the knife that comes with the Lou bread cutting kit. It appears to be just a solid piece of aluminum. Nothing can really go wrong with it. It just looks like a, a pretty basic bread knife. The moment of truth. Not as easy as it looks. Okay, I'm trying to get that last bit. I feel like I'm cutting into the wood of the bread slicing kit here, but I'm, I'm trying to get this last bit of crust to cut. And I'll do this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is helping or not. Maybe you're just supposed to get it started with this and then move it over to a traditional cutting board to finish it off. It could just be a very just crusty loaf. But easy as pie. <laughs> Okay, uh, first impression seemed kind of rough to cut that slice. I'm not sure. I think I might have uh, damaged the surface of this board. I don't know if this loaf is any crustier than a normal loaf. It's fresh. For my next test, I'm going to use the Lou bread cutting system with the Hinyi 8 inch professional bread cutting knife. Here we go. The <laughs> this 8 inch knife doesn't is not quite long enough to get to the uh, maybe if I just it's not quite long enough to get to the edge. I think you really need a 10 inch knife with this system. Let me just move this to the regular cutting board and finish the job. Yep. This bottom crust must be very thick. <laughs> All right, there we go. So it seemed to do a, a pretty good job. 
I think um, if you're going to use this kind of device, you might want a longer blade. But if you are just using a regular cutting board, this seems to be fine. For my next test, I will be using the Grasta 10 inch bread knife. I have never seen a bread knife like this before. It is intimidating. But I, I'm anxious to see how it does with the Lu bamboo wood and bread cutting device here. So let's give this a shot. Definitely helps to have a longer blade with this. Um, it just, once you get down to the end, if you, <laughs> it just, uh, the bottom just is kind of tough, I think, with this system. I just, I, I can tell I'm cutting into the book, into the wood, and I'm not sure I like that. Um, Maybe your bread is softer. And I, I didn't cut quite evenly. Um, it would... Oh, can I... It would, if I could shrink this, it would be better, but I, I wonder if I can. I don't think I can. Oh, see if... If I can move this gate over like even one more slot or yeah, just one more, it, it might be better. It just, it feels like I'm not cutting completely evenly because look how thin this slice got. That, <laughs> I think I can do better without it. Um, now let me give it one more try. Um, and, and maybe I'll use a, a thicker, a thicker slice. That's a lot of bread though. I mean, the, the difference between one notch and two notches is pretty significant. I will be, it'll be like an, a, an inch thick slice of bread, but we'll give it a shot. I'm running into a structural difficulty with my bread here. just bothers me when I hear it cutting into the wood like that. Um, I, it's got to be, this is a serious knife. I, I have to be damaging this while I use it. So I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I just, I just can't get down to the end like I want to. Let me go back to the regular cutting board. Well, this, this slice did, it is even. It's a, a very nice slice of bread. This is, <laughs> this is a huge slice of bread though. That's a lot of bread. Um, maybe you could use something like this for French toast, but uh, it sure smells good. So I, let me try one more time. Um, no, I, I can't, I can't. It's. I think it's the illusion of an even cut because you've got more to work with. Um, if I if I were to go to a single, well, I'll, I'll try it. One more, one more test. And what I'm doing this time is just kind of drawing back in a single direction, so I'm not sawing like I was the first time I tried this knife but it's just now it's just not working right it's and I think what's happening is I'm, I'm changing the angle slightly as I tr attempt to hold the bread down and I don't know what you can do to stop that um, maybe slice off one end so that it lays flat against this. In fact, I, I think I'm going to try that. 
I'm just going to have a lot of sliced bread here. Okay. And, and I'll just use this, I'll use the cut end as the flat side. It's not, well, it's not really flat anymore. I, I think if you have a crusty loaf, this is probably not the device for you. If you have a very soft loaf, um, like a banana bread maybe, or a pumpkin bread, any, any of those quick breads would probably do well here. This is just a very crusty sourdough loaf that I, just doesn't work well with this thing. So I'm, I'm not giving up on this device, but I'm saying that it's not for every kind of bread. I think if you used a French loaf, it might work well. Uh, if you cut the French loaf in half and put the flat end against this, you could probably, because it's such a uh, more of a, a narrow, a long, narrow bread, it would probably work better than this oblong monstrosity that I made. So um, I'm saying this, this isn't for every kind of bread, but it could be good for some kinds of breads. I'm curious what was in the, the crumb catcher. Although I, I never got to the end of each slice, so there might not be much in here. Well, well it, I would say that works. <laughs> it caught some crumbs. And it does... Let's see. I, I was I was playing with this earlier. I know it folds flat. How does it work? Ah, you press in, fold it in, and then you stores like that. This does fold flat for easier storage. You can see where I was cutting, and it cut right into the surface of this thing. It just bothers me. Um, but like I said, I was really sawing into this. This is a crusty loaf. Um, let's just say that this is good for soft breads and leave it at that. I, I do like the crumb catchy capabilities. I can see if, <laughs> if you weren't sawing through this, this crusty loaf, how you could get your slices evenly. I am, I'm going to give this a three out of five star rating just because it's good for some things, but not good for everything.